Hello my people, welcome back to Critics News with more update on as take the go. Um, and in continuation with <laughs> what we do here, um, we have a top story here about um, soldiers um, who are now afraid of uh, going to the north to face their mate. Rather, they are in Imo State and the Anambra State, Enugu State, in fact, in Igbo land, killing Biafrans, innocent Biafrans and armless citizens that is where they have power but in the north <laughs> they don't have that power boko haram has given them cheese and on the other hand um, this man here um i forgot him madoka mr madoka i, I bless him the one who returned from obodo yibo <laughs> they said they were interviewing him on arise tv that uh, we were hearing boa 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 outside i said what's going on he said that there's a gunshot and they were asking him what are you going to do for what are you going to do for Anambarians? What will you do for Anambara people if you are elected the governor of the state? <laughs> the, the sound of the gun got the man confused and he couldn't stand it. Are we, are we, are we? In fact, when I go laugh, eh? <laughs> forget on our name. And they say that uh, EFCC is still holding um, our brother will be Kubana down as I speak to you now that he didn't leave. Uh, this one that all of you are saying, yeah, he had left him, they have left him, uh, Vikubana is free now for the weir. The day they are, they go on for cage, he's on a bar, say, ah, and they want Nigeria, well done, eh? you, are, you are pleasing your masters, full of the masters. The earlier you realize that Nigeria is not for you, the better. Now let's look at these stories and play the video quickly. Now, um, where will I, where would I stop? Okay. Now they said that the army is afraid of Boko Haram. Soldiers are afraid of Boko Haram, Boko Haram and they, they are killing Biafrans. IPOB fires back at army. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOB has claimed that the Nigerian army is responsible for the killings and general insecurity in the southeast. And it's a simple thing. Demilitarized, uh, demilitarize the southeast so that peace and normalcy can return no you people have created different factions of army these ones are shooting these ones these ones are ah god ipob alleged that soldiers of the nigerian army masterminded most of the killings in the southeast the group made the remark in reaction to claims by the nigerian army that its military arm eastern security network esn is responsible for the killings in the region in a statement by his spokesman, Nima Powerful, IPOB alleged that soldiers who are afraid to fight Boko Haram terrorists are killing Biafrans in the southeast. According to Nima Powerful, following the frustration of the Nigerian military deployed to the southeast and their claim that IPOB and ESN are responsible for the numerous attacks, killings and burning down of people's properties worth billions in the region. With the global movement and family of the indigenous people of Biafra wish to tell the world that there is no iota of truth in such fabricated allegations. It is rather the Nigerian military and their sister security agencies that are masterminding the ongoing secret genocide and mayhem in the southeast. It's quite unfortunate that after committing these atrocities, these vampires cleverly point accusing fingers at IPOB just to cover their flanks and deceive the Golebo. Nigeria army is afraid of facing Boko Haram, listen to another terrorist in the north, but down here in the southeast, they have taken over the work of the police in their desperation to kill more Biafrans. No matter how much they want to twist the fact that public, um, the public is already aware of their tricks and, and pranks. The serial, the serial killings going on now in the land of Biafra are masterminded by the military and they cannot deny it in any way. You saw the video now where they were shooting at sight. So what else do you want to, what, which other evidence do you need? There are viral videos where the Nigerian army is demonstrating its might against innocent and helpless people of Agu in Enugu state. Hmm. We they say those burning down houses in the said video are IPOB and ESN? That is the question I've been asking. 
was it ESN, everything that happened? And some of you are falling to these nonsense tricks that they are using to, you know, to divide us, trying to say, ah, Igbo people are killing Igbo people. Lie. These are folk Boko Haram, Fulani, criminal agents in the Nigerian army that they went to, but they brought from Sahel. Look at how. Thank God, God just used that video to expose them. Now, where did I stop, Seth? We challenged them for, the, for a forensic audit of the viral video. The UN should investigate this to establish the real identity of those behind the ongoing destruction in the Southeast. We wonder how Nigeria Army and its uh, security counterpart would derive joy in killing Biafrans. But Boko Haram and bandits sacked them in their barracks in the north. The world will one day hold them accountable for these atrocities and crime against humanity. The truth will one day refuse to be buried. And that is what this present government and the cabal are doing. Trying to bury the truth so that we will not hear or the word. Although the word is now deaf and dumb. That one is a total different case here. The word have heard. It's not that they, they have heard, but they have decided not to you know, do anything about it but rather enjoy the drinking of blood and the waste, wasting of human beings by the Nigerian government. Instead of to do the needful, conduct a simple referendum in Nigeria. They are there. If Joe Biden, when he gets to, to, to a summit, he'll be sleeping. Instead of doing the needful, talking about the killings going on. After America will tell you that they are protecting Christians. Low euro, low re nah, lie. I don't agree for that one. Now, moving away from there very quickly, they say that Obi Kubana is still in DSS custody, <laughs> at the EFCC custody for money laundering because he washed money, <laughs> money laundering, you know, laundering and washing of something uh -huh. and tax evasion. I don't know how, but uh, be it as it may, when we were talking about it, he looked as, yeah, do you want to tell Obi Kubana how he wants to charge you money? Do you want to tell this? They know all of them are both to do a Kubana chief priest. All these people, both in the doings, both, uh, uh, um, what's this guy, uh, acting film, Zubi Mike. All these ones with better money. Can I hear, oh, can I hear them? When I think when I don't arrive, this Nigeria, eh, we are enjoying it. Oh, they, they are, yes, this is just doing that. This life, eh? They are watching you from their mirror. And very soon they will invite all of you and tag you and rope you in. Then you will have sense with that one let me quickly play you this video of this man where he was uh, you know rubbing mouth blah, 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 blah. <laughs> after <laughs> after he was hearing gunshot at his backyard as soon as, as soon as i become the governor uh, of anambra what will you state do? Uh, we, what we, will you do? he said as soon as he becomes the governor of anambra state we will do what let's listen we go ahead and we will go ahead to do what and, uh -huh. and uh, be, and be uh, what? Oh God! Oh my God! I, I, as soon as I become the governor of, uh, of Anambra State, we will go ahead and be what? And be what? This man? Ah yeah! Now wow! Uh, 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 as soon as uh, there's a gunshot to go. <laughs> no, if I say tell him, he confess. He said there is. He said, as soon as I become, <laughs> said, as soon as I become the governor of Anambra State, uh, uh, we are going to, I will be, I will be. In fact, when is he say he has lost uh, confidence, he had to tell them what the problem is. I mean, let's listen to that. Won't give me with love. Out, but I will continue with this, this <laughs> so that you know that we're in a, in a war zone in Anambra. The moment I become the governor of Anambra State, the background, it does, it does no, it, it, it did say that there alarming. are gunshots. Dr. Maduka has just confirmed. There's oh. gun going out, <laughs> <around. laughs> so that you all know. Yeah, there, there's gun. Ah, I'm very good. I'm not gonna give me with this video. As, uh -huh. as soon as I become the governor uh -huh. of Anambra State, uh, we will be go ahead and be. If you look uh, at this man very well. You will see that. I see hope was a demma in him, to be honest with you. I see hope was a demma because this is how hope was a demma was looking like a Ukabaru Kunala. That after the, the, the attack on the correctional center that, that uh, last few months. Uh, uh, uh -huh. As soon as 
<laughs> yes, it's gone short to going out, but I will continue with this, this so that you know that we're in a, in a war zone in Anambra. The moment I become I the governor of Anambra, it does, it does no, it, sound. It, it did say that they alarming. are gone short. Dr. Maduka has just confirmed. They are gone, okay. going oh, out, so right that you all know. Yeah, they are gone. <laughs> no, we juju be that. <laughs> There is gone going out, going out from where, from your room to where. I beg, uh, oh, this man, I beg, I don't feel like I don't, I don't weak my body. <laughs> he said there is gone going out. As soon as I become the governor, we will, I be, uh, uh, we will, we will. In fact, there is gone going out. <laughs> I beg, let's see what's happening with Obi Kubana. They say popular socialite and businessman, Mr. Obi, Obi Naiyebu, aka Obi Kubana has spent his second day in detention. He was yet to leave the anti-graft agencies uh, last night. Spokesman of the UFCC, Mr. Wilson, Uwu Jaren, told this day that the owner of the popular Ibiza nightclub, Chen, uh, remained in the custody of the anti-graft agency. All I can say is that he is still with us, he said. This day gathered. So, um, Obi Kubana is still resting in the custody of a uh, dss now because uh <laughs> is Ibu. where is Aba Kiari? where is on a super cup where he don't lose <laughs> hey now this day gathered that Iebu was granted bail but was yet to perfect the bail conditions you was uh he is waiting to perfect the bail condition i saw said the anambra born tycoon who arrived the headquarters of the ESCC at Jabi Abuja at about 12 p.m. on Sunday was interrogated by operatives of the commission. He was alleged to have involved in money laundering and tax fraud. Obi Kubana recently caught media attention and has trended on social media following uh, the recent lavish burial ceremony of his mother in Oba, Idemili South local government area of Anambra State where this man is campaigning to become a governor. He also recently posted on his Instagram page a picture he had with the vice president of Liberia, Mrs. Jewel Chiane Tello, in her office during a recent visit to Monrovia. To Monrovia. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know how, um, how, when he's going to perfect his uh, bail conditions to get out of the EFCC, uh, net, but uh, be it as it may, Nigeria is not balanced and Nigeria is not for him. The earlier they realize this, then the better for us to move forward so that you can expand, you can expand your horizon in a country of your own. Nigeria is not for you, but all these big men, when I go leave them, they do well, oh, it don't consign us. No, made in kidnap poor people, they suffer. I'm guy, even if you are in your A plane, you are flying. You will still land on this earth. You will land on the ground where poor people are. So don't think that because you, you are flying around that uh, <laughs> we don't know as it is, they go. We still know. So your billions is useless if you are not utilizing it properly. Utilize it properly. Even on non government now, they are threatening that if they don't leave this guy in no time, that they are going to, uh, uh, they are going to Abuja to meet Buhari there in Asorok. Uh -huh. I've been begging them, so no, don't go, don't go, don't go. Uh -huh. You know what it is. Before I can even appease them, I know what I gave to them. And our four men committee are also uh -huh. restoring normalcy and peace, begging them to make sure that they don't cause any harm, just uh, like the one they did to this. Uh... <laughs> now, with the, with the interview now, tell me what he promised to do for the Anambarians. Niente. He's not going to do anything. Only to go there and look and look, be looking like, okay, Okabaru Kunala. They hear the smell. Ndiu Chusoso. No election in Anambra. You people should go and bring that man out. Bring Mazen Nam the Kano out. Then, hey, we now talk about it. Sit on a round table. Or you postpone the election. Until Mazen Nam the Kano come out. How can you bring such number of military there and you want people to feel comfortable to go and vote? Who is the daughter of such? The name went sense. But let's go to the next one.